<laughs> whenever I started to get calluses on my hands, like my mom, like to this day in church, she'll be like, Jan, look at your hands. <laughs> Talking about a husband, like who wants to hold hands on me? Nobody, <laughs> like they're all wrinkly and just, <laughs> I've got bruises on them. <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it is, it's hard work. You use every part of your brain, every part of your body every day. It's exhausting. You get home and all you want to do is just go to bed. Take a shower and go to bed. <laughs> I'm a fifth generation farmer. And that's, that's both a blessing and it's also kind of a weight because there's, there's a legacy there. There's an expectation that this was started way before I was ever thought about. And I hope that it's still here long after I'm forgotten you know, playing in the mud puddles and stuff. I mean, I did plenty of that whenever I was little. It wasn't that, <clears throat> I mean, it was never, nobody ever told me that I couldn't farm, but, I, you know, on the flip side, there weren't a whole lot of female farmers around then. I can't remember any. So it wasn't that I, I was ever told that I couldn't do it, but I was also never shown that I could. And I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't really consider farming whenever I first you know, graduated high school, went to college, that kind of thing. I think it kind of had to be shoved in my face that, you know, you're not, you're not bad at this and you can stick around, you can do this. I like working outside. I like being able to take ownership for the work that I've done that day. I really like being able to see what I've accomplished, even whenever everything breaks and you don't accomplish anything. You know, even, even those days, even though they're, they're awful and they're terrible, they're, they are few and far between and you know it makes you appreciate the days that everything goes well even more. If I had a nugget of wisdom to share, it would be to um, not be afraid to try something different, even if it's scary, especially if it's scary. 